Let the children come to me. Do not prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Today the church keeps the memorial of St. John Bosco, and this Holy Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Tom Riley. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who raised up the priest St. John Bosco as a father and teacher of the young, grant, we pray, that aflame with the same fire of love, we may seek out souls and serve you alone. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippines. I want you to be happy, always happy in the Lord. I repeat, what I want is your happiness. Let your tolerance be evident to everyone. The Lord is very near. There is no need to worry, but if there is anything you need, pray for it. Asking God for it with the prayer and thanksgiving. And that peace of God, which is so much greater than we can understand, will guard your hearts and your thoughts in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, fill your minds with everything that is true, everything that is noble, everything that is good and pure, everything that we love and honor, and everything that can be thought virtuous or worthy of praise. Keep doing all the things that you learned from me and have been taught by me and have heard or seen that I do. Then the God of peace will be with you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul give thanks to the Lord. My soul give thanks to the Lord. My soul give thanks to the Lord, all my being. Bless his holy name. My soul give thanks to the Lord and never forget all his blessings. My soul give thanks to the Lord. It is he who forgives all your guilt, who heals everyone of your ills, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with love and compassion. My soul give thanks to the Lord. The Lord is compassion and love. Slow to anger and rich in mercy, his wrath will come to an end. He will not be angry forever. My soul. My soul give thanks to the Lord. As a father has compassion on his sons, the Lord has pity on those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made. He remembers that we are dust. My, My soul. soul give thanks to the Lord. But the love of the Lord is everlasting upon those who hold him in fear. His justice reaches out to the children's children when they keep his covenant in truth. My soul give thanks to the Lord. Let us stand for the ghost acclamation. The greatest among you must be your servant, says the Lord. The man who humbles himself will be exalted.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples came to Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? So he called a little child to him and set the child in front of them. Then he said, I tell you solemnly, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of God. And so the one who makes himself as little as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Anyone who welcomes a little child like this in my name welcomes me. The Gospel of the Lord. If we think for a moment about the saint whom the church honors today, St. John Bosco, one of the best known and loved saints of, of modern times, one might say, he was born in Turin in northern Italy in the year 1815. And he came from a very poor family indeed. His father died when he was, I think, only two years old, and his mother struggled to bring up the family. And he went off to the seminary to begin training as a priest, and it was said that the family was so poor that the clothes in which he entered the seminary were given by charity. His mother couldn't afford to clothe him. He was ordained as a priest and began working in Turin, and very soon found that his life's work was to be with the young. He worked in the schools, in the prisons, in the hospitals, and at first he was the chaplain to a girl's orphanage. But he realized that there were a lot of street children, mostly young boys, in Turin, who were in great danger, spiritually as well as materially. So, with his mother acting as his housekeeper, he went to a very poor part of the city and began gathering these boys into their own school and orphanage. And so many came that he had to engage other priests to help him with the teaching and with the work. And eventually he founded a congregation known as the Silesians, the Silesians of Don Bosco, and as well he helped to found an order of sisters, the Silesian sisters, the daughters of Our Lady, uh, help of Christians. And together the Silesian priests and the Silesian sisters worked together for education for both boys and girls and for looking after the poor children, particularly those who were abandoned or orphaned. And the Silesians today are one of the largest orders in the church. Many of you from India will know of the Silesians because they're particularly strong in that country. It's important, as we hear in the Gospel today, the Gospel for St. John Bosco's feast day, that the children, the little ones, are always welcomed. Jesus calls the child to him and says to his disciples, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. And our Lord is not calling us to be childish, but childlike, with the simplicity, the honesty, and the trust that particularly very small children have. Every morning when I say Mass here, there's a grandmother with a little boy, and they were there this morning, and she helps him to light a, light a candle and to say his prayers. And that simplicity of a child like that, I don't know how old he is, four or five, on his way into St. Michael's School, that simplicity, that childlike nature, is something that our Lord enjoins upon each of us. Anyone who welcomes a little child like this in my name welcomes me. St. John Bosco took that to heart. He died in the year 1888. He was in his early 70s, and he was canonized, made a saint, 
in 1934 by Pope Pius XI. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the oblation made by your consecrated people in commemoration of St. John Bosco be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord, and grant that by participation in this mystery we may reflect the pattern of your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John Bosco you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. <laughs> And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the <coughs> rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. <coughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your Church, <clears throat> and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John Bosco, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Alan our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven, says the Lord. Let us pray. May this holy meal give us strength, almighty God, so that by the example of St. John Bosco, we may show in our hearts and by our deeds both fraternal charity and the light of truth through Christ 
our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Yeah.